Hello there. I welcome the course in management accounting and five still working on the present paper of November 2023. So we are going to make it a continuation uh, on the preparation of income statement. Remember, in the last video, we prepared uh, the uh, the production cost statement and we got what we got on the production cost statement. So uh, we if we are going now to prepare the income statement. So if you go down the question, uh, you'd see that uh, we have got uh, two uh, requirements uh, that were there. Uh, in terms of preparation of production cost statement for the end of the two twenty twenty, and compare the income statement for the end of the two twenty twenty. So, um, we are going to prepare a second part, which is the uh, which is the income statement. But remember, there are figures that we are going to take from production cost statement that are going to use in the income statement. So, uh, we are just going to set those figures. Uh, remember, uh, for the finished goods, uh, according to uh part A, which is five uh part five point one, uh finished goods. Uh, which is cost of production of finished goods. Uh, let's just say our cost of production, uh, our cost of production of finished goods, our cost of production of finished goods. Uh, we found it uh, as uh, 791,200. So this is what we have. And then for uh, for over recovery, we found an over recovery uh, there in the production cost statement. And for over recovery uh, was uh, 393,500. So three hundred and ninety-three thousand five hundred. So basically, we are going to use these two figures uh, in the preparation of the income statement. So um, in the income statement, remember, uh, we are going to start uh, with the figure for sales. We are going to start with the figure for sales. So before we start, we can just need to refer back uh, to the uh, production cost statement that you prepared. Uh, this was our cost of production of finished goods. And if you check our over recovery, uh, we can just go back to check. Our over recovery uh, was uh, 393,500, which is a little bit fame there, 393,500. So this is the two figures that we are going to use. So I uh, will go back to our uh, person to check the figure that we have for, for sales. This is the figure that we are going to, uh, to use. So if you go up there, you see that um, the figure for sales we are giving it here. Uh, this is the figure for sales that we have, uh, which is 849,000. So uh, we are just going to put it as such as 849,000. Uh, so we can go to our answer section. So you see that this is our income statement of two gate manufacturers on 31 December 2021. So we are going to start with the figure for, for sales. And the figure for sales that we have here is 849,000. Straight away, I will go to the section of less cost of sales. Then on the cost of sales, obviously, we are going to start with the open stock of finished goods. So we are just going to say stock of finished goods. And that is the beginning of the period, which is what December 2021 in brackets. And then we can just go and check that figure. So you'd see that we have it at the beginning. You can go there and check. Right of the goods, we've got 50,050. So we're going to pick up, we're going to pick up 50,050. So we go back there. And say our 50,050. For our, our stock of these goods, we are one December 2021. So we are saying 50,050. And then after that, we are supposed to remember in a, if it's a trading account, we are supposed to have purchases here. But uh, this is not a trading account, it's a manufacturing, uh, manufacturing business. So uh, in manufacturing business, we are going to replace the figure for purchases that we put in a trading account and put our cost of production. So here we get cost of production. And this is the figure that we got uh, in the last uh, in the last production cost statement, uh, cost of production. Let's just check that figure. This is the figure that we have 791,200. So we can go back there, put our 791,200. Uh, we're saying 791,200. Uh, then from there, uh, having put our cost of production, uh, we can now then adjust for over recovery and then the over recovery we are supposed to subtract it here 
So we can check that figure. I gave you the production cost statement. Yes, it's there. Then we can go to the fair peg and there in terms of uh, what we found in terms of over covered. They were 393,500, which we are going to put there. So uh, we go back and uh, we have put now in over. Over covered. So we are saying uh, over covered. Uh, this is uh, an over a cover of manufacturing over it. And we figure that we got there is uh, let's try to see. Uh, figure for over its uh, over recovery, we got 393,500. So we're going to say 393,500. Remember, we're subjecting it. So here we can just indicate as less over recovery. If it's an other recovery, we are supposed to add it. So uh, this is uh, what we gave. And then uh, we can as well uh, try to go to the next one, uh, which is now uh, if you calculate here, we are going to get finished goods. Finished goods available uh, for sale. And then we are going to say, uh, we are going to start from 50,050, then 8,700, And then uh, the figure that we are going to get there is 447,750. This is the finished goods available for sale. And then uh, finally, we are supposed to subtract our stock, our finished goods at the end. This is our closing. This is a content one to say by now. Don't get one. So we can just repair back to see which figure we have in terms of that one. Uh, we go to uh, the additional information. See that we have it here. Finish the goods 23,500. So this is the figure that we are going to put there. So we are now going to say. Twenty-three thousand and five hundred, and then I uh, remember this is here we are saying again less. We subtract it, so we subtract, and then the figure that we are going to get now uh, is not representing the cost of sale. So we are saying four hundred forty-seven thousand seven hundred and fifty, but twenty-three thousand five hundred, and then the figure that we get is now the cost of sales. So uh, the answer we are going to put it here, and it's representing our cost of sales. So we are saying uh, after subtracting. We're supposed to get 424,250. But remember, we're saying less, so we're subtracting. So to get our gross cost, we're saying 849,000 minus 424,250. Then we go down to put that figure to represent our gross cost. Which is here, which is how we are going to get our. And let's try to see for our gross profits. Uh, let's try to calculate there so that we see what we get in terms of our gross profits. So uh, our gross profit now becomes 424,750. And then I will, obviously we go to now to less expenses. Then we can check our expenses according to uh, the question. So for expenses, if you come here, right, uh, we have got advertising cost 4,400. So we can put that one, 4,400 is our advertising cost. So we are saying, Advertising uh, 4,400. And obviously, we are going to check other expenses. Right. Uh, if you come here, you can see that uh, we have put other expenses that are given as proportions there. Uh, we have this one, factor rent. Uh, what we are going to do is uh, remember the factor rent that we are given, this one, 66,000 represents uh, factor rent. So 66,000 uh, is equal to 
Uh, remember, the 40 percent is, is at least which means 100 minus uh, 100 minus 40, you get your 60. So 60 percent is your uh, your factor. So it means 60 percent is representing uh, 66 lakh. So uh, the one that we are looking for is now 40 percent for administration, which is supposed to go to income statement other less expenses. So we can just use proportion there by saying 40, what we don't have over what we have, and then we multiply by the given figure. And then uh, if you do that uh, there, uh, you are going to get your answer uh, is this our factor rent is 44,000. So here we have 44,000 representing our factor, our factory rent. So we also have electricity. For electricity, it's as simple as that again. We are going to say uh, the factor electricity figure is here, which is 54,500, which is uh, represented by 20% factor. So factor is the is what if, uh, so we are saying 20%. It's going to fifty four thousand five hundred. So hundred minus twenty, you get eighty. So eighty percent is for the uh, administration, which is eighty percent is the one that we are looking for. So we are now going to say eight over twenty times fifty four thousand five hundred over one, and then the answer that we are supposed to get there is two hundred eighteen thousand. So we can just go there and summarize that uh, on the waiting part. So here now we are saying we have got a uh, factor rent. So in brackets, we are saying it's um, 40 over 60. And then we multiply by 66,000 over 1. And then the answer that you are supposed to get is 44,000. Remember, this is 4,400, this is 44,000. Then we go to uh, factor electricity. We are going to summarize it as um, 80 over 20. And then we multiply by 54,000. And then the answer that we are supposed to get the year for vector electricity is 218,000. So it's similar to that. Then 84,400 plus 44,000 plus 218,000. The total that you are going to get here is 266,400. And we are saying less, so we subtract it. So we say 400, 4,750 minus 266,400, then we get our, our net profit. Remember, it's net profit when gross profit is greater than expenses. Like in this case, if uh, gross profit is less than the expenses, it's going to be our net loss here. So uh, here, we subtract uh, the figure that we get is 158,350. So uh, this is what we have, guys, in terms of the pattern of this income statement. Those who have subscribed, please subscribe and share. We are still coming to most videos as we prepare for exams. Thanks for this video. I'm signing out. So we'll meet again in the next one.